We are at Rogers City, Michigan. Had a wonderful day here yesterday. Got in a little bit before noon, got fueled up, pumped out, and had a little bit of time to explore the city. I went a little shopping. Rev did some videos and caught up on some cooking. And we are ready to go to Detour Village. It's a distance of about 40 miles, and it looks like another beautiful day on Lake Huron. So we're gonna cross Lake Huron, head up north. I got a loose tie on the stern. I got a loose tie there at the breast line. I closed the gate. So all I have to deal with is these two lines so we can get ready to go. Leaving Rogers City, Michigan. Nice getaway. We were able to dock on the other side of the fuel dock right there. Keep going straight, Sam. Straight out. You're good. Good to turn. You got a fishing boat coming at you. flat water. Another beautiful day. You can see, I hope you can see, the water is so clear down there. Just put a pole in the water. I'm out here on the side, Sam. I'm on the side right here. The port side. Going out that opening and then straight up, kind of straight up to detour today. Are continuing our trip. Uh, look at Lake Huron. I'm loving this lake and Sam has got it down to know exactly when to leave for zero waves. Hi, I'm Rev and if you are just joining us, if you just found our channel, let me introduce you to the brains of the operation. Hello, Captain Sam. Hey, how you doing? I see you're this planning is there. Beautiful day. And yeah, just kind of looking ahead. Yeah, looking at weather patterns, figuring out the stops, the possibilities along the way, and we are just really going to love this next section because it won't be over open water. We'll be going up the St. Mary's River into the Sault Ste. Marie area and then transiting to uh, Lake Superior. We will uh, go out to a Whitefish Point and hopefully see the shipwreck museum out there. Do you think that's bad luck to be going to where the Edmund Fitzgerald, you know, met there and we may or may not go to the I got a pro I got a problem with this trip. But anyway, but there is a monument there uh, and uh, so looking forward to that and then coming back and probably looking at some anchorages along the way. Just a beautiful uh, north part of Lake Huron before we enter into Lake Michigan. So just really enjoying this. The weather looks like it's going to be great. And we did notice last night while we were on the boat, it's like, gosh, it's still kind of light at 10 o'clock at night. And the further north we go, of course, uh, the more light we're going to get. So uh, 
Exactly. So two interesting and delightful things about being this far in Michigan. Well, I don't know delightful. It's just weird to see. It's 10 o'clock at night, but it's still kind of light and you can see around. The second thing, we had to have a jacket on because it was chilly. So I love having a coat or a jacket on in July. Awesome. So we are transferring control from me to Rev while I go down the engine room and look over a few things here. But some of the things that you need to do when you're transferring... Can I just say one thing? We're not really transferring control. I'm sitting here, the <laughs> autopilot's on, everything is under control. So uh, I just wanted you to get a clear picture of what's really happening. Exactly. Okay. So anyway, uh, just trying to give a situational awareness to my first mate who's going to stay up here while I go down the engine room. And uh, we're on autopilot and there's no traffic out there. It's Zero. flat, the conditions. We don't have to worry about the red and the green over here. And so I just kind of look at the, you know, our engine gauges and they're pretty simple here. We're feeding from the aft tanks and we're full on both of the aft tanks um, and, and we just fueled up, so fuel considerations. Water temperature is looking good on both sides. The uh, oil pressure is looking good for where we need to be. RPMs are matched, the synchronizer's on, and our voltmeters are showing a positive charge. So, you know, it's really just very simple on this boat is, you know, what your fuel situation is, your oil pressure, your water temperature, and then your electrics. I mean, that's really all, it's the basics on this boat. So anyway, just some of the things to think about as you're transferring control and coming back so that if you're down there and there's a question, you've given your first mate all the knowledge you can. Here I am at the helm. Autopilot's doing its thing. Sam's down there. Okay, now you see the flag in the dinghy. They're doing great. But Sam went down to the engine because room because every uh, ever since we had the engine worked on, he's been going down there regularly, checking the oil, um, checking the transmission, making sure that there's no oil collected anywhere or water collected anywhere, just for peace of mind. Now he went down to the engine room many times right after that happened and the first trip out and continuing to monitor that situation but everything seems to be going really well he wanted to go down there to check it out and when he comes back here he's going to put it up on plane and we're going to make some good time we are about 40 minutes out from docking at Detour Village in Michigan, and it is located just at the mouth of the St. Mary's River, which we will be going up into Lake Superior in our next uh, couple voyages here. We've got some traffic out there coming across left to right. Actually, it looks like he's going into Detour Village a little bit faster than us. We did see the Arthur M. Anderson freighter that was going up through uh, the St. Mary's River. That one was loading on one of our previous voyages in the Calcite area, Stone Harbor. And so they'll be going up through the locks up to Duluth where they will be heading. And off to the right, we will see Drummond Island, which is a pretty big island and it's in the U.S. And then further to the east is Cockburn Island that is in Canada. So last time on our gold loop, we came in through Canada. So look, we'll be approaching the tour village from a different angle this time, but nice little place in there. They are run by the DNR in Michigan, and um, you can make reservations online or through an 800 number. However, I was unable to do that due to connectivity. So I called this morning once they open and I said, they're wide open. They've got plenty of slips in there. So familiar marina for us. And read all the notes about going through the St. Mary's River. It's plenty wide, freighters go through there, but it's interesting as you look, what's on the bottom is real rock. There's no sand. So uh, it'll get your attention if you get off course 
real fast. This has been an awesome day. You know, some days start out really smooth and then turn into rough, but today has been smooth 100% of the time. There's a beautiful lighthouse over there. And then we're coming up to the tour. It has been a peaceful day and we're getting closer to the marina now. So we're seeing a bit of traffic. There's a sailboat over there. And then there's a ferry going across to Drummond Island. Ferry going back and forth. Coming up here to Detour Village. It's a state marina. It doesn't look like there's many roads in there. Boy, it's really shallow water. They have it well marked over to the far left. Sam said, disengaging. What did you say? Approach checklist is complete. Those are the kind of things I hear in my headset. Very entertaining. I mean, I do appreciate his professional demeanor, but let's face it, he knows who, he knows who he's working with. Okay, Detour Harbor monitors channel 16, and we already know that because Sam's called them on 16. Sam, there's a sailboat moving right here in the in the harbor. I'm not sure where he's going. Oh yeah, I see a lady on the front and they're coming out to help, so. Making a sharp turn here. We're gonna go about in, Sam decided, so that we could watch all the freighters going back and forth. So it should be a pretty good show back there. Our, we remember that from last time. You see this little boat coming towards you? All right. When it gets closer, I'll be looking for 33 because that's our slip assignment. We're getting a bow in port side tie. Well, thanks for coming along with us on this trip over to Detour Village and uh, stunning, stunning day on the water. It's the kind of day you think when you agree to do the Great Loop, it's the kind of day you think you're going to have every time. Yeah, so a distance about 40 miles just across uh, the northern tip of Lake Huron. Wonderful day and we are going to get out and explore Detour Village. So see you next time on What You Have To Do. Thank you.